looking at the South African surfer Ricky Bassnett who has after watching the videos he has got this aggressive style but at the same time he surfed in a really relaxed way so let's dive straight in So Ricky Basnett was one of my favorite, or is one of my favorite surfers. And um, from a young kid, the guy absolutely ripped. He was like, can I just uh, pause for a second there? I just want to reverse back a little bit because what I want to show you yeah. is that. So Ricky Basnett was one of, he was, he was, he was one of your, he was one of your riders, wasn't he? He was one of my team riders on tour, yeah. That logo just underneath the rip curl there. Uh, that's that's like the million dollar sticker, isn't it? The one on the nose. Yeah, yeah. That's, so just that's underneath that is your logo. I love this video just because of that. So basically, growing up, Ricky was slightly older than Geordie Smith. Uh, he got into to a, ahead of Geordie, uh, but Graham Smith, Geordie's dad, was like, "You either got to surf like Ricky, mm. or you got to beat Ricky." So he was kind of the guy that um, Geordie Smith looked up to. Yeah. Okay, so just, just for some background interest there. Excellent. Anyway, let's get into the surfing and not talk about your boards, but yes, your boards are there. Cool. So, oh, look at the knees up, the height projection and the punts that he gets. And when he lands, just so relaxed, straight into good posture. So he's kind of, knees are bent forward, mm. hands are up, and he's just, he's like spring-loaded. Yeah. So he looks relaxed. What you don't see is that the, the legs are doing all the work. Mm. And because you don't see that and you just look at the rest of the body, you look super, super relaxed. So that's playing. Let's watch a little bit. Oh, <laughs> the, the rail grabs, like, I, I can't even understand. And, and bear in mind, okay, this is 2011 footage. So 2011, it's 10 years ago. 10 years ago, but it's still relevant today. This is him on a boat trip, and my gosh. This is him at um, HT's, which is just a barrel wave, and super, super chilled and relaxed. We often have people ask within the group, um, what surfboard do, do I need to ride to be able to surf really amazingly? Now, clearly, it's one of your boards, Clayton. Just, yeah. just buy one of Clayton's boards, <laughs> and you'll be able to surf just like this. So what I'm seeing over here, pressure on the front foot, and he punches the arm through, looks where he wants to go, and he waits and he glides down the wave. Different rotation on the spin, looking where he wants to go, waits, glides down the wave. A little bit of an air. Did you see what he did What? There? Hang on a minute. What is going on there? So he's going for an alley-oop. In other words, you do air and you land backwards and slide yeah. around. But then he grabs his board and he twists his board around in the air, and he lands goofy foot. So he's, he's now landed goofy? Yeah. What? Like, like I, I can't even comprehend half that stuff that he does. That looks... It's a, <laughs> that's like a Rubik's Cube. Like, I can't even Pretty figure much. it out. And th there, he rotate, there he rotates the other way around. This is ridiculous. And just super. I think relaxed. I think out of all of the coaches' eyes that, that, that we've done, this is the first one where we've got one with lots of lots of airtime going on here. All, all of the other ones have been big turns. So the big thing with airtime, it's knees up. You got to get your knees to the chest. A lot of guys bend down and bring their chest mm. to the knees, so they don't have the space for the pop. And another thing that, that you've I've, I've heard you say a number of times is the airs don't start from the top of the wave. Yeah, you, you kind of want to air from about midway up. So it'll be interesting. Let's see. Okay, so. Oh, here's another big air. It's just a front rail grab. What? Your logo is flying through the air everywhere here. Look at this. What the? So basically, I think Geordie Smith on one of the Red Bull programs, this huge, big, whatever this air is called. And then I think Rick, I'll, I'll, Ricky I'll, was I'll, the most I'll come up with a name for it. Look at this. A fly whizzy, roundy whizzy. Let's call it one of those. <laughs> oh, I fell off. I, if he had made that, I would have probably falling off my chair the rotations the knees up and this was a decade ago just a straight air just a straight air i'll be i'll Look be happy this. This, is, this for me this is nuts 
Okay, look at how he places his left hand up, so like, like a real big twist. Yep. Okay, and the board goes vertical, no straight down. I think the next one turns even more crazy, watch this. So arm up, all the way back to the foam. So the tighter that board gets around, in other words, the bigger that arc is, the easier the turn is to make. If he cut it short, he'd probably nosedive there. Mm. So he's looking so relaxed in that critical part of the wave. Like even there, on rail, chilled, Look at this, beyond vert, kind of like that very, very similar line, similar angles yeah. to Andy Irons. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's what I was thinking then when you were sort of saying that. Absolutely about beautiful. Although he came down straight on that one, he managed to not nosedive it. Do you notice how he doesn't rush the turn? He yeah. waits. So I think there's aggression because he waits for the right time to hit it. So waits, uh, yeah. waits, waits, boom, vertical. Maybe that's the key. And look where the turn goes. Right back, all the way around, rides it out. Maybe, maybe that is the key, because obviously I was, I was saying at the beginning about the aggression while relaxed. Maybe it is the waiting. Yeah, it's getting the timing right of when to do it's the like right It's like, now, 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 and now hit. Oh, I think this was, this was the one. Oh, on he, rail, he, oh, holds it. There's one where he does a turn and he holds it for so long, and I was just like, whoa, yeah, that looks crazy. That. I know it was, a, it was a forehand wave. And um, I was just like, wow. Like the timing on these turns are so on point. Okay, I think it's back here somewhere. So if you look at that turn, it kicks the tail out. So basically, the tail's free of the water. There's mm. no connection with the fins, okay? But let's bring this up a bit more. He's stacking all his weight onto that front foot. Okay, so all his balance is forward. A lot of people put so much pressure on that back foot that they blow the tail out. Now, the harder you push on that back foot, it'll almost pull the nose flatter, and then you won't have the speed to get down the wave again. So, so just, just, just real quickly on that, actually, because, I mean, that's, that's something which I would, I would like to be able to uh, imagine myself doing where the, where the tail sort of comes out once I can get back in the water again. So, so what's the sort of... When it, when it, if somebody is wanting to do that, they want to blow the fins out. Okay. You've got to be patient and wait. So he, the fins are blown out the back. Now watch, he waits, he keeps rotating around, and at that point there, the fins catch, the board automatically turns on its own. Yep. So the board does the rest for him, and he just looks really, really stylish. Beautiful rail work. Yeah. Insane twisting. So like, the, the timing of the when and the how to is so good with Ricky. Look at that thing. Oh. Look at the spray on that. It's insane. So chilled. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a little bit longer. Oh, vertical. Twist. Nose to Oh, look the at the, that's the board. Yeah, it came all the way back round again so we didn't nose dive and then, yeah, that, that, then reconnected and then came back let's down. Let's look at the angle of that. So straight up 12 o'clock. time is it? Dinner time, 12 o'clock. That's beyond 12. Oh, it's like 270 degrees. That is a crazy turn. Yes, that was fast maths again from myself. Really, really beautiful surfing. For, for a decade ago. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe that was one of them. But it was. So this is past the coffee. Yeah. Look where he's looking. Look how far he passed the coffee cup around. So he held on to that turn. Into the foam ball. The foam's going to redirect him. Hmm. Okay. One thing that I've noticed that he does a lot, it's something which I've, I've heard you've coached me on it and you've coached other people on it, and that is that bringing that, that around, but then it's this bringing this other arm over afterwards to... to uh, See, when he I'm rides out of well. this turn, that foam ball is hitting him that way so fast. He's going downhill, so he's creating more speed and more drive, and he's looking where he's going, passing the coffee cup there. So there's the coffee cup hand. Yep. Right, so that, that was some... He's getting a little refill there. Yep. Epic, epic surfing. Watch this thing. Oh, another one of those spinny, wibbly, wobbly, spinny roundy. Oh, he's even added in a, an, an extra twisty thing. Oh, he landed it. No way. Yeah, the guy's an absolute legend. One of the best surfers around. Um, so the big takeaway from this thing, and is the timing of when to do the turns. Yeah, wait. So many people get really excited and they just try to hit the lip from the bottom of the wave. Yeah. Ugh, uh, or they want to do a turn and they cut it short. Yeah. So it's the timing and it's the holding on to the turns, which makes Ricky Basnet surfing timeless. Yeah. Like 10 decades ago, if you watch this guy surfing today, oh, he's still ripping just as hard.
Yeah, absolutely. If anything, his surfing's improved. It's like fine wine. His timing's got better. He's not rushed. His surfing's actually got better in, with time. Yeah. And that's the beauty with surfing. Your surfing improves, it matures. Yeah, I think it was... Um, I really wanted to sort of see one of those forehand turns. It must have been in a different video that, that we watched as we were trying to find one. But yeah, like he, he's really holding those turns. And again, it's a, it's a waiting thing. Don't yeah. rush into that turn and try and rush out of it. He comes around and he holds it for so long until he hits that foam ball and it pushes that, that board back around again. That so. holding of a turn is called your rail work. It's engaging mm. the rail and how long do I hold it for before I disengage into a rail yeah. change? So. Yeah. so wait, wait, and wait. And, in that, and on that note... You won't have to wait too long till the next coach's eye comes out because that'll be out in uh, either a few days or a few more days after that. But all you've got to do is wait. Simple as that. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to us yet, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Also, click that notification bell so that you don't have to uh, worry about waiting. You'll just be notified when the next video comes out. But until then, that is it from us. See you in the next video.